Welcome to the Artful Aesthetic. Today I'm going to talk about my Hobonichi Weeks and what I use in it. I thought it would be helpful to see the supplies that I use and how I use them. So for Christmas I am getting a um, TIG mod, a This Is Ground mod, um, which I'm super excited for. I'm hoping that I can fit lots of this stuff in there. If I can't, then I'll adjust. So right now I use a Bellroy pencil case which I'm obsessed with. I've used it for years. Look how thick this gets. I mean, thick, how wide? Yeah, how wide this is. It fits a ton of stuff. So when it's open like this, you can kind of see it all. So I use mild liners for my color coding system. I have some chapstick in there. My Leatherman Micra. So planner people, if you are not into like everyday carry stuff, you might not know about the Leatherman Micra. I'm here to change your life. This little guy is so small. So in comparison with one of the Smalls Altoid tins, it is only a little bit longer than that. Here's why I'm obsessed with it. Scissors. And it's scissors on a spring. I don't know if that's what scissors seems like on a spring makes sense. Whatever they are, there's, there's this. And so they bounce back. Then you can use tweezers if you're doing small stickers, you need help getting something up. And then it, of course it comes with screwdriver, a knife. So no, you cannot bring this on an airplane with you. Bottle opener. Nailed it. Anyway, this little guy is just so, 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 so handy. I pop him in this little pencil case, bring them with me everywhere I go. Um, Bic Whiteout, my Coletto 5, 5 ink, 5, it just says 5 Coletto, with 5 color, my 5 color Coletto, there we go, figured it out. Just gotta stay with me, folks. Um, these correspond with the highlighters I have because I use these to fill in my little timestamps. My Traveler's Company pencil, a Sharpie pen, and a Sharpie, Sharpie, and a little bitty metal ruler. Okay, so what's in the Altoids tin? Great question. Let me show you. Uh, these are all, I mean, not all, but these are portions of my planner stickers. They're adorable. I love them all. A lot of them are um, digitals that I bought from Etsy and then I just print them out and use my Cricut to cut them out. So you can see here this little coffee person, these little scalloped note header notes, I don't know what they'd be called. Some that I made myself. So I found this image of a bearded dragon on Google Images. So unfortunately I can't credit or cite the um, original artist, but I use that to create my own little bearded dragon sticker and changed it up so it would look like my bearded dragon. This is for when I give him a bath or feed him crickets. I have other personalized stickers in here, like a PS4 um, controller for when I'm having game dates with one of my best friends, little YouTube things that I made for when I post YouTube videos. Anyway, tabs, so extra tabs if I need them, payday stickers, super cute little transparent kit kitties. So these all just stay in here. Everything fits in here so nicely. Great. Anyway, let's show you how I plan vertically. So right now I'm going to use a Mr. Pen whiteout tape. I don't love these. I don't think they work really well for me. They might work well for others. They don't work well for me. So that's why I'm using it for this because I don't want to use my good stuff like my big. Let's see. There we go. Okay. 
So that's the first thing I have to do. Just go through, you white out the dates. I did try for a little while doing, you know, just as it's listed, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, kind of planning vertically backwards and it was too confusing. I couldn't keep it up. Then there is a Facebook group for Hobonichi hacks. I super recommend it because in it, it has these which are perfectly proportioned to be able to stick onto um, or over for me this whiteout to have the dates Monday through Sunday the correct way if you're using it vertically. So I'm not going to do that now um, because I can't waste those. But what you could do if you need to, if you don't have a printer or you know whatever, you can just do it this way. So remembering that um, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then the dates. Just go right ahead. Okie dokie. Then I use a um, Stabilo point eighty eight gray little guy. Because I find the color to be fairly subtle, which I really like. You go through. And you don't have to do this, obviously, but if you are trying to make yours look like mine, then this is what you would do. See, it's a super fine line. It is fairly close match to the other colors that are already printed into the Hobonichi, so I just don't find it really offensive or anything. Um, and that's how I split it up. Then what I did is I... created my own stickers, again using my Cricut, oh my gosh, I'm trying to find some time stickers, okay so I created a little six boxes which is similar to the ones Faye creates, or I think that's her, her name, she's on Etsy and she sells these, so if you want little stickers like this please go and use her she's amazing she ships super quickly she's very kind um I wanted transparent ones so this was this is all on transparent stickers so is this and I wanted six and I wanted um them to be um spaced a little differently anyway so I also created this which is time from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. most of the time I'm working later rather than earlier and you probably cannot see but the numbers line up perfectly with the grid that's on the back page of each week and so I have been putting these on but once you have you know 52 weeks of these stickers in the same ex exact spot they do create like a dent kind of, which I'm not knowing how I'm feeling about. So I might end up just writing the time in, but I really do like these. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. So I could stick that down or I can just say, and obviously if you were doing this, you would do it whatever time you needed to start. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there you go. Those are on the side. They line up perfectly with the grid that's already there. That way you can keep it fairly consistent when you're writing in the times of things you're doing. Then I take this little guy and the ink that I like is these Colorbox Fluid Chalk ink pads. The problem though, I got a bunch of them because the one I had was not bleeding through the Hobonichi Tomoe River paper. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. This is what I'm going to be using from now on. The reason it wasn't bleeding through is because the ink pads I was using are four years old. So they've dried out. They still work, but they're just not nearly as pigmented. So if you're going to stamp in your Hobonichi, especially using these inks, I recommend using a light hand and light um, pigment. And so then I just try and line it up basically with these boxes. 
so if they're not perfect that's fine I do tend to spend a little more time trying to make them perfect when I'm doing this in my real one but for the sake of the video there so I have learned my lesson I am using a much lighter hand so let's see if this bled through the other side uh, a little but not bad I mean I I would still find it workable that's kind of up to you if you think it would be you also don't need to do this if you don't want to that is obvious but sometimes helpful to remind people you don't have to do it this way if it's not gonna work for you trust me it takes me a while to figure out what works for me okay and so basically and then I would just have one two three four five six and I line these up with these lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just go through and do it all the way down for every day in the week. Now I don't necessarily have six days specific to do's, but I like to have the space available to me. And then I just do week's goals. So now I can go in here and I don't normally use a Sharpie pen. As I said, I use my um, Lamy. Let's use this. That's fun. So this is a another Lamy All-Star, but it's with Montverde um, ink it's California teal which I'm really loving this color so let's just pretend that this is what I use for my planner just because I want to use it so let's just make up some things that we're doing so the way I do it is I list the time so this is two so let's say from two to three I'm um I don't know going to Aldi isn't that ink beautiful? Mm, love it. This is a medium nib. And so pigmented that it becomes almost like red. Super into it. I don't use it though for actual planning because I use um, waterproof. I use this one actually. But in carbon ink, that's what I use when I'm planning. I can highlight over it. It's perfect. I wish you could see, I don't think you can, but it is almost red. It's so neat. And then, so let's pretend there's a chunk of time. So we'll say on Wednesday from six to nine, I am, again, I'm just making things up. So six to nine, eating cookies. Also, a medium nib does not work for me in um, Hobonichi weeks because, when, as you can see from my actual week, I'm doing too many things. I can't write so large, but it's fine for this. We'll say Friday at 8. So 8's not listed here, but there is still like a little line here. So um, 8 to 9 coffee. Okay, so yes, that's how I use that. Then down here is important things that I wanna remember or just like notes about the day. So it could be like, um, Arden slept through the night. And then I would probably put a little sticker there of something that has to do with that. Okay, so that's how that works. Then this is where my Coletto comes in handy. And so um, if this was my real planner, I would color code everything. So if it's work, that's pink. And so let's say that on Monday, well, I already have stuff. Okay, so Friday I was working 
from um, nine a.m. until six. And then what I do is instead of coloring it in all the way, I hat hatch hatch mark it because sometimes it's like oh but you know what I was also um, the the sole child care person from five to eight and then I cross hatch it the other way so that lets me see like, yeah, I was working that time. We'll say my daughter was napping. Um, so I was watching her and I was working. Same goes for whatever else. If it's me time, so like this right now is me time, that's blue. And so I would say I was doing whatever I wanted for an hour. So that's how I keep those. Then the to-dos are down here, so Saturday I have to read some book, and then I end up not doing it, we'll pretend. I put a little arrow, this is really like a bujo system kind of, and then I pop it on over to the next day, so I still need to read book on Sunday now. The week's goals, I usually set the Sunday before the week begins, and so that's where I just think about what are some things I know I need to get done today, or this week. It might not be on a specific day, but it's something I need to get done. And so it could be, um, I can't call for vet appointment. So it doesn't have to be done on Monday or Tuesday or, you know, etc. but this week at some point this needs to get done. And then I fill it out for the rest. And then I use the rest of the space for whatever else I need to create notes on. I do have a stamp on its way um, that is going to be a habit tracker. And I'm going to use that, maybe, I mean, I'll at least try it, uh, for things like eating healthy. Um, I've been doing keto I've taken a break for the holidays, but I was doing keto. I am not advocating it. I don't necessarily think it is the healthiest lifestyle. However, it worked for me to lose weight very, very quickly, and it actually helped my um, stomach, which is usually upset, but for whatever reason, eating keto helped. Anyway, besides the point. So no spend, eating keto, um, whatever else I can think of, that will take up about like this much space, I think, ish. And so that'll still leave here for goals, here for notes, plus I have the entire back for notes as well. Um, yes, so that's how I set up my week in a vertical fashion for the Hobonichi weeks. Here you can see what a full week looked like. I'm using stickers, my color coding system, everything that I need in order to kind of make sense of my week. And then I have the same thing for this week. This week was a lot busier. You see I have shopping lists, notes, a bunch of stickers, everything I need. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'm excited to hear what you use in your Hobonichi weeks. Thanks. Bye.